Hey ghosts and ghouls, welcome back to Hello Queenie of London. Thank you so much for popping back to the channel. I am here in Barclay Square on this All Hallows Eve Eve, which is currently haunted by workmen. But if I spin you round, there's a big hole where that <laughs> white cladding is. If I spin you round, I'm going to begin today by showing you that house with the blue plaque there, which was once the home of George Canning, who was a Chancellor of the Exchequer, which is quite apt because today our Chancellor of the Exchequer is uh, revealing a budget that everybody thinks is pretty frightening in itself. That house there by the by is probably one of the most haunted houses in the whole of London. It's reputed that a young girl fell from one of the upper story's windows and impaled herself on the railings below and she has ever since haunted the building. There are other ghost stories associated with that house as well so if you want to be spooked tonight get yourself reading or have a little look around on YouTube for the ghost stories of number 50 Barclay Square. But I'm also here for another reason. All of these buildings are pretty haunting, don't they? <laughs> I'm also here to show you a look at Annabelle's. You all know Annabelle's, the exclusive members only club here on Barclay Square because as you might be able to see up ahead there is a very 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 incredible halloween facade now you all know that annabelle's always does something special for the seasons at christmas time it's one of the things we look forward to coming to have a look at don't we but i was really really excited to come and have a look at this for myself this was put up for annabelle's very special halloween shindig which was the other night and apparently the doorman of which there's one over there of course were dressed up as sort of like napoleonic army members and this whole display this year sort of celebrates 400 years of the spirit of versailles i think this is called the spirit of versailles and it sort of celebrates the opulence of the court the majestic atmosphere the ambiance of the court of louis the 14th this is such a brilliant thing to do it looks so so haunting and i'm gonna put in loads and loads of shots of this so you can have a good good look and i feel like i need some you know classical music maybe some luli who was the, the composer i believe of the french court of versailles under louis the 14th <laughs> it would look so so good but annabelle's have used some pretty haunting classical music too i hope you've enjoyed having a little look at this and i'll pop in some more close-up shots i'm loving how they've done her skirt the red red roses they've used to drape through her skirt do you and i love how eerie she looks looking out over the square she's just a beauty whoever did that and thought it up i love your imagination i absolutely love how they've done her face she has a pout going on a proper pout but I love that sort of like scorched look that's like, it looks like it's running through her head, down through her face and dragging itself down her dress. It's kind of inky looking how they've done it. It's just so clever. I'm, I'm well enraptured with this. 
well enraptured. I think that must have been such a fantastic themed spooky Halloween party to go to. What a theme. I mean, what a theme. Well dressed, ball gowned, ghosts of Versailles. Just imagine it. And like people with candelabras. Imagine the music they must have had and the nice cocktails. Wow, I would have loved to have been inside Annabelle's for this year's themed ball. Amazing. Thank you, Annabelle's, for doing something so spectacular on the outside for all of us Londoners to come and have a butcher's at because we need stuff like this. Not a lot of people do a lot for Halloween. Certainly nothing as spectacular as that. So, ghosts and ghouls, I hope you enjoyed having a little look at Annabelle's and the haunted number 50 Barclay Square. I'm now going to A attempt to get out of the square <laughs> which isn't an easy task because it's blocked off everywhere by workmen and a little truck actually just came through the whole square um and b i'm going to make my way back to chelsea where i thought we'd spend this last spooktober vlog having a little look about at all the pumpkins and all the spooky displays that we've got going on this year we're also gonna nip into mark suspensers so i can pick myself up a spooky tea from their special halloweeny ghoulish meal deal and then I think we might also pop into Partridge's so I can pick up some goodies for the trick-or-treaters. So, hold on to your hats. <laughs> Have a great time watching this Spooktober vlog with me, the Hello Queenie. I love how the restaurant Sexy Fish has changed its name for Halloween to Scary Fish. And there's some good bat neons there. Hey Hill. walked this way <laughs> just to check on the process of the windows. Are these Halloween balls or are they a sign of things to come? Look at the windows, look at the windows. Ooh. The trees have appeared. That's all you're getting from me today. Campers big ball balls that's really all I'm gonna do I'm really liking the entrance with the big ribbon that looks really pretty look I'll be back so welcome back to Chelsea guys and ghouls we're gonna start this little spooky October tour off here at the Bluebird where we've got pumpkins happening. Look at those pumpkins in there. <laughs> How cute is that? They're also advertising Christmas at the Bluebird which sure is fun and then look in there there's pumpkins all going around and little hay bales. I love the hay bales and there's some pumpkins here. How pretty. I like all the dark florals as well seasonal florals and that looks really pretty oh yeah <laughs> that looks lovely the bluebird always do a nice seasonal display so i'm gonna continue along up the king's road and point out anything else spooktacular to you i am loving this array of pumpkins in loom <laughs> look how cute they are look at this bad boy here that looks so sweet. A little bench as well. This gorgeous homeware. So pretty. Pumpkins just make everything perfect. On Love My Human, you can always depend for a brilliant festive window display. I believe these guys are also having a little doggy costume Halloween party as well, which is a pretty cute thing. I'm loving those hands. That 
that's beautiful and there's even pumpkins on the little cake stand of course you always have a dog friendly cafe here as well which is just a couple of doors along over there just in between those waiting cars is wild ones which this year celebrates a whole 33 years on the king's road it is spooky 365 for those guys in there such a gorgeous shop has some unusual gifts and a bus is coming <laughs> and you can go in there and have your your palm read and tarot you can have tarot readings have loved looking at this display every time I've walked past it for lavender green flowers it's just pumpkin paradise look at that beast <laughs> that's gonna take some carving I love these because loads of them have the stalks on and they're all perfect colors look how gorgeous they are coming out of the tub there's some down here they haven't forgotten the outside either <laughs> And I love this gold frame with the autumnal flowers falling down. Just a beautiful, so gorgeous. This is my winner. So I'm currently here in Dover House Green, which is in itself pretty spooky because it's an ancient burial site belonging to St. Luke's Church that you can see there in the distance. And I'm here to show you a pretty new unveiling on the King's Road, which is this sculpture here. This is called the Head of Oscar Wilde. There's obviously a little bit of information here for you by the statue, but I'll just give you a little rundown. Palauzi, the sculptor, the artist, used to have studios which in Dover House Street there. And the Chelsea Society actually commissioned this work in the 80s, but Palauzi died before it could be completed. So to celebrate the centenary of Palauzi's birth, as well as the 170th birthday of Oscar Wilde, this was unveiled on the 16th of October this year. And I think it's pretty impressive. I love looking at it. It looks gorgeous in different lights. It looks really eerie as the sun's going down as well. And I really think this is a fabulous addition to the King's Road. Oscar Wilde, of course, was taken. He was arrested from the Cadogan Hotel in Sloan Street. And he also lived in Tite Street, which was the place where he wrote a lot of his works, including, I believe, the picture of Dorian Gray and Lady Windermere's fan. Oscar Wilde is also relevant to Spooktober because he was also the author of The Canterville Ghost, which also, by the by, is a fantastic film starring Patrick Stewart and Neve Campbell, one of my favourites. What do you think to the sculpture, guys? which has been here for a really long time. These guys are queuing to go in to get their costumes. But I'm really happy because there's like a creepy little display. Is it making a noise? Oh, it is as well. Look at all these pumpkins at Ben's as well. There's a distinct black compared to what there was yesterday. I love this. Ooh, <laughs> they're creepy. What is it about that noise of the broken down carousel? I love it all your costumes in there ad hoc so quite like the guy on the swing doesn't that just look so picture awesome in london perfect down there's the royal hospital that you can see at the end with the beautiful townhouses and a leaf covered square gorgeous that sight must mean it's time for a pumpkin spice this, by the way, was the first Starbucks in London. I have pumpkin spice, and as it's a 
rather warm autumnal evening, I thought I'd drink my pumpkin spice and read <laughs> this gorgeous book. I love Washington Irving. It's just phenomenal. So spooky. I'm nearly finished The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and I think I'll start on Rip Van Winkle whilst I'm standing here being protected by Mr. Han Sloan. So whilst I'm here in Duke of York Square, I think it's only right that we go and have a look to see if there's any Halloween goodies left in Partridge's over there in the corner. <laughs> we'll go and have a look and see if they've got any goodies I can put on my Halloween table. Partridge is looking characteristically pretty. Look at the basket full of pumpkins. I love that. Let's head in and see what they've got. I want him. He's a good welcome. Check him and look down there. He's greeting everyone. Fantastic. This candelabra is also good. <laughs> They've made way for a load of Christmas, but I do have a little Halloween display to show. You can have a little look at what we've got. It's also pretty good at the moment because you can order Partridge's stuff on Deliveroo for delivery. Here amongst the bones, <laughs> there's some of these ice biscuits. You are reading that correctly, 25. Insane. The design is good, and there's some Frankenstein monsters and a mummy, and there's a solitary pumpkin one for £12.35. And up there's more of the same. But look at these bottles full of the um, little sweets popcorn kitchen. It's a popcorn kit. What are these guys? Oh, they're cool. You have some stuff for the table as well. And look at these. Are these like American Kit Kats? Wow, I'd like to try those, they're £10.99, there's a dark chocolate version, and there's like a trick or treat kit, check these guys, £24.49, wow, these look fun, do you think you make like a hot chocolate with those and they dissolve, seven, and there's a bag here of the sweets, they look good, there's a little cake there. This isn't the best stand for me to show you, but we've been relegated Halloween-wise. The Christmas is coming, which we'll obviously pop back and see. I think, are these talking tables? Like, the decorations? I love talking tables. I normally just order them online. Down there, there's some more bits. What's here? More talking tables. They look fun. And there's little trick-and-treat pails. Guys, check them lollies. They're good. I like them a lot. They're only three ninety-five. <laughs> There's some Halloween coins. Oh, look at these nerds candy corn. Oh yeah. I want to try them. I want to try candy corn, like in the states. Choco Halloween. Look at this, $16.95, the Spooky Shack. That's pretty cool. You get quite a few sweets in there. And, oh, look at that guy. I don't have a price for you for that. It's Choco, Choco, Choco. And these little mini ones, little trick or treat pails. They're very, very tiny, but they do have goodies inside. Like this, Magic Potion. So we're running low on the treats, which must mean all the little trick-or-treating children of Chelsea are going to have a good sweet haul. I'm sure I can buy this. I might be able to. There's a tag. I want it. Look at her little booties. She is cute. I like her. Maybe not. Here at the Royal Court in 1956 was the first London performance of Arthur Miller's the Crucible. It wasn't the first English performance that happened in Bristol, but the first London performance happened here at the Royal Court at Sloane Square. Also pretty scary is the amount of times I've been too tempted by the baubles in Peter Jones's since the John Lewis Christmas apartment opened. Bauble Hall, coming soon. <laughs> 
would not be Halloween on Queenie of London if I didn't show you the M&S spooky meal deal. So let me grab a trolley and we'll see what they've got this year. They took their sweet time bringing these out. I tell you, sweet time. <laughs> look at this guy. He has a stalk. Look at the colour on him and look what's happening here. That is the most bizarre, beautiful pumpkin I've ever seen. I love these buttery yellow pumpkins. This one's a good one with the stalk. I am loving these spooky flowers. How ace are they? They look phenomenal. And there's extra down there. They are very effective. But on this one's leaf is amazing. How does it do that? how pretty. I love how all the white pumpkins look together. That's great. And we've got a crate of the big ones here. I saw some little children walking along the road holding those the other day. It was such like a vintage Halloween look. It just oh, it looks so much fun. The pigs in blankets are here. Oh yes. Should I have these for dinner? Just all of those. Here it is. Oh, there's loads of gaps. Oh, no. Never mind. We'll have a look. What's this immediately? Jelly. Fantastic. Bat jelly. Five pound, but it's three for twelve. So, that's not bad. I'll go to the top in a minute, but I love these cauliflower popcorns. They are so yummy. I'll see if I can show you them. One minute. I like that, and they come with, like, a barbecue dip lush some halloweeny <laughs> cocktail sausages one of my favorites are the box obats <laughs> are the cutest these little pumpkin bao buns they all seem to be five pounds but they're in the deal so they work out quite good this hat samosas they're triangular yes but aren't samosas always that shape hmm <laughs> That's tenuous. <laughs> Loomy fingers. I did not say that good. Hell, Loomy fingers. Mwahaha. Seems to be very tempted by the worms. I don't know. I think they sound all right. <laughs> I'm always a fan of these little meaty mummies. <laughs> don't they sound nice? You know what I'm not seeing? The cauldron with the fondant cheese in. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm not seeing it. Oh, I'm sad. I love the cauldron. I always keep them. <laughs> I wash them out and then I make my own fondant. What's up here? We'll have a look at the uh, pizza to see if it's very exciting. There's a lot of the pizza. Oh, look. I want pizza. Frightening. This frightful flatbread face. I'm pretty sure they've just drawn on the packaging. Terrifying tempura prawns seem to have been pretty popular. Halloweeny Colin, he's a spine tingling surprise this year. He's covered in bones. I always reckon they should have a little hatch there so you can see his face. <laughs> they've also got these little Halloweeny pumpkin cakes. They look nice quite tempted by these cackle and pop Halloween mini bites. Sound good? Disaster. I can't find any of my barbecue flavoured Frankie faces. I wonder if they've got any left on a cardo. so glad I've just popped into Primark because they have this really appealing section to me. For the horror, look at the Joker. Um, I love the film Joker. Um, is there any more? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes. I love that. Oh my gosh, God, look what it's got on the back. You have to come home with me. I am crazy about that one. There's a Beetlejuice hoodie. Where did all this stuff come from? Beetlejuice hoodie here. There's one up there, which is A's. There's a ghost face t-shirt. Oh my God, look at the back. 
Wow, Primark, I'm impressed. Look at Ghostface. Wow, is there a Joker hoodie as well? There's a Joker hoodie here. Oh, hang on, <laughs> they're high up for me, I'm only short. Just look at the back, why it's so serious. <gasps> This is mad. Does anybody know these are here? Look at this. Hang on. I showed that really quickly, but I have missed out. Look. Wow. Oh, without rules. That's so good. I'm guessing these ones have also got bits on the back as well, so I'll check. Should I just go and check out that Beetlejuice one as well? That one just had Beetlejuice written on the hoodie. The black one, however has this on the back wow and we already looked at ghost face now let's have a little look at the night before christmas one Ooh. oh look 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 just wow just wow oh hold up the scream please tell me something's on the back of course there is. Classic. My favourite scary movie. And wait for it, wait for it. Oh yeah. I love that. I love Jamie Lee Curtis in that film. There's another Joker like t-shirt here. And it has, I like this sketch kind of design and look <gasps> yes I love all the quotes on them too I'm gonna leaf through see if I can find any more like hanging around the back this may just say Beetlejuice on the front but just look at the graphic on the back wow I love that all these are like official as well they're really good great designs it doesn't stop there. Look at the sign one. It's showtime. Ace. I'm wearing one of the Primark Beetlejuice girl tops, but I'm loving the ones they have for the guys. They're great. Look at the Wicked jumper. Primark have got this in. I don't know if they're going to get any more like Wicked stuff because of the film, but the sweatshirt's pretty nice. And Halloween related, but who remembers Lizzie McGuire with Hilary Duff? Oh yeah, I love what you can find in Primark sometimes, who they pick on a t-shirt. For example, <laughs> love this. We've got some Beetlejuice and Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. You have like the little wallet. This is sweet. Keychains. I like these initialed ones. And look at these ears, these mini ears. With the Nightmare for Christmas on and there's like a little carry case which is really really cute um, I think that's pretty much a lot we have this nice little Beetlejuice wash bag and these fantastic socks and then they have a couple of the jumpers left I like that because it has it on the sleeve that one there and I think there's some more around here I have this one <laughs> I'm wearing it right now this one here these sweaters which are pretty plain on the back do have a section of pajamas like nightwear look at these cozy things <laughs> they've got hoods on and then around here there's some nightmare stuff i really like these these are cute for 20 with like the legging material i like wearing like leggings as pajamas these ones are really, really fleecy, and you have a long sleeve top to go. <laughs> this one, wow, that looks super cosy. Super cosy. Is there anything on the back? Yes, there is. That's really nice. Also, some Wednesday. There's a night shirt here. I don't do tears. And this cute little night set with the collar. Look how cute that is with the little matching shorts. Does anybody like that series, Wednesday? I love it. I nipped into Poundland today when I went to Hammersmith and I picked up a couple of little extra bits. I was really surprised they had some stuff left on the shelves. I picked up this guy who's like a really cool shape and a little buddy for him. 
this guy here. How haunting do they look on top of the display? I think they look really cool. I'm pleased I picked them up. I also got something else I'll show you. So I also picked up this lighted garland which i've draped over a couple of the spooky books of spooky books over there with these really eerie dark red roses in i really like it i've hooked it over like one of my draw knobs there and let it run down the desk which i think looks pretty sweet i'm enjoying this little corner here and how it matches up with me black rose garland along the top of the desk so things are looking extra eerie in my favorite corner of the house <laughs>